Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Nishita. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every Sunday and Thursday at 9 a.m. PSC. And in today's video, I'm going to review a foundation from Clinique. Uh, it's called their Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer 2-in-1 Foundation. So one of you requested that I do a review on this and I've never tried uh, any Clinique makeup products before. So I thought, you know, I would give it a try. And the shade that I got is a Toasted Wheat, uh, which is a 76. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. So this is how the shade looks like. So the packaging is a glass bottle and you do get a wand with it. So on one side of my face I'm going to use a beauty blender and on the other side I'm going to use my uh, Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. So they claim that this is a foundation and concealer in one for a natural beyond perfected look that lasts 24 hours. This lightweight moisturizing makeup covers thoroughly without clogging pores. Skin also breathes comfortably, color stays true even through sweat and humidity and it's not going to uh, clog your pores. So the undertone of this is WN, I think it's neutral. Uh, I didn't see this yesterday when I was buying the foundation. Uh, I mean the shade uh, with warm undertones before this is way too light and the shade above this is way too dark. Uh, so I thought I would uh, give this one a try but looks like it's you know neutral undertone. I didn't check this yesterday, I should have checked. Brush versus a beauty blender. Uh, I didn't see a lot of difference like blendability wise and even the finish wise uh, but I did notice that with brush I used a lot less product when compared to a beauty blender. But the foundation blended out beautifully onto my skin. It feels ultra lightweight and it also feels a little bit hydrating on the skin. I'm looking a little bit dewy because I'm wearing my Kiehl's SPF underneath. That kind of gives that dewy look but the foundation on its own uh, on my neck, uh, as you can see, it has this uh, natural matte finish, but at this point, I do see that the foundation is transferring a little bit. So far, I'm liking it because it's oil-free, fragrance-free, and I was just looking at the ingredients list, and I didn't see any fragrance listed. So now I'm going to go off camera, apply the rest of my makeup. Once I get back, I'm going to tell you guys how everything blends on top of this, so stay tuned. So guys, I finished the rest of my makeup off camera and everything blended out beautifully on top of this foundation. Uh, it feels very lightweight and it's hydrating as well. When I first applied it, it was transferring a little bit but at this point I don't see any transfer at all. Uh, I mean, it was looking dewy at first because, you know, of the sunscreen I was wearing underneath. But at this point, the foundation has dried down. It has this really nice satin finish, like almost naturally matte. So it's not overly drying, but at the same time, you know, it's not overly dewy. I like that. So I did set my under eye concealer in place with some powder and slightly dusted some powder in my T-zone as well because that's where I tend to get shiny. But other than that, the foundation is on its own. So we'll see how it performs throughout the day. But at this point, I'm really liking the finish and how lightweight this feels on my skin. Uh, I mean, I did use a lot of it, so it looks foundation-like, but if you want to make this foundation look very natural, you totally can by using a very light layer. With one layer, if you use a very little bit of this, it will give you a good medium coverage, which can look very natural on the skin. If you layer it up, uh, you know, you can get it to totally full coverage, and at that point, it might look foundation-like, but you can totally make it look very natural if you want to. I'm gonna continue to do the wear test, go about my day. When I get back, I'm gonna to share my final thoughts so i'll see you all at the end of my day hey guys so it's currently 9 45 right now can you guys see yeah it's i applied this around 11 so it's been almost 11 hours since i've had this foundation on and i have to say i really like it and i think of myself as a fool that i didn't try it before uh, everything that this foundation claimed to do like it holds true it is completely transfer proof it feels ultra lightweight on the skin it is not at all drying uh, it looks natural for a foundation that gives you almost full coverage you can definitely tell in person that i have foundation on but i can totally make this look very natural on my skin whenever i want to i love the applicator i like when foundations come uh, with those applicators i just love the fact that that this is not exaggerating my pores it's not taking up anywhere 
except the area where I have this uh, acne pimple that is recovering. I have dry skin there, so it's definitely clinging on to it. But that will happen no matter what kind of foundation I use. So I'm not going to blame this foundation for that. That's totally expected. But elsewhere, the foundation is going really strong even at this 11 hour point, like almost 11 hour point. Uh, it is still on there. It is completely transfer proof. You can still see my highlighter bronzer on my skin. I really have nothing bad to say about this except the shade that I got is not a good match for me. At least the undertone is not right. So I'm gonna look online, go back to the store and exchange the foundation for a shade with a golden undertones because this particular foundation is totally worth for me going back to the store and getting a shade that matches me perfectly. But the formula on this foundation is amazing. No matter what kind of skin you have, definitely try it out. You can see that I'm looking a little bit shiny in my uh, T-zone, but keep in mind, I did not use any kind of primer underneath uh, this foundation. If you have oily skin, like, you know, pair it with a good mattifying primer underneath and just set the whole makeup with powder. That will uh, definitely make this foundation last longer on your skin. If you have dry skin, you have nothing to worry about. Just wear the foundation on its own. It will do like really great on your skin. I absolutely love this foundation and I highly recommend you guys try it out. I appreciate the fact that this is oil free and fragrance free because, you know, Oils and fragrances are something that don't work with my skin tone really well because I do have very sensitive skin. Uh, but I love the fact that this foundation doesn't have uh, either of those things. So that completes this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. This is what happens when you go to a Sephora. Sweet. <laughs>